When we talk about empowerment and we talk about young in coaching, which is our our baby, our sweet spot, how how does the personality taking like maybe the assessment of we have the persona assessment? How can those tests uh, be a part of individuation? Yeah. And then what's possible beyond that? Yeah, I think just understanding that uh, it's it's any test. First of all, is not giving you like a like an X-ray, uh, kind of showing you something that's true and valid in 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 your mind, in your psyche, and who you are. It's it's essentially a tool mm-hmm. that can provide some information, but it's a starting point, mm. only a starting point. Uh, so in in that regard, yeah, some of these Myers Briggs and Big, Big Five, Five, yeah, uh, or or some of the tests that we developed and use. Yeah, they're entry points into a deeper discussion of what's going on in your life, right? Mm-hmm. How can you, how can you work with these uh, traits or where are your tendencies right now? Yeah. But in a way of how can we change? Uh, but it's not. This is who you are. I think there's yeah. a difference between with a personality test. You're you're really thinking that's who you are. It's just what your your conditioning is expressing. Absolutely. So if we we kind of separate it and in Jungian coaching we call it there's a true personality which is our true self which is much different than our surface behaviors so don't you want to find out what that is versus just that that conditioned personality that we've been learned learned to do that can change with the wind and uh based on circumstances and and environments yeah and i doubt that the true personality could be assessed uh, i know right testing Uh, Maybe, uh, maybe in the future, maybe so through neuroscience and neuroimaging, we might be able to see big changes in the brain when mm. people undergo this, uh, this transformation of the self. Well, I know that we, everyone can take, like people that have got done through, gone through the shadow work and, and individuation process that we teach, our students seem like they look younger, their faces glow, they, they're just relaxed. Um, they, uh, they, they just feel so much more energy. Like there's so many changes that they know something has changed. Mm. And, I, and I think one of the main things is their self-concept changes. They yeah. stop believing they're this personality and they start believing and understanding from a deeper place of who they really are and what's possible in their life and what they can create. And so I don't think personality traits are, uh, personality tests are ruining your life. But they can if you just believe that's all you are. I think that's yeah, the, exactly. that's the message we want to send. It, to like any power, it, it's how you use it. Mm-hmm. Right? And if you misuse it or misunderstand it and, and apply it in a uh, kind of a um, general way where you you're believing that it's telling you something true about yourself and something permanent, then it could ruin your life. Mm. And and then. You know, if we project that onto people and, and label people and we think or, or we define them by those labels, mm. that's the danger right there. And we do that all the time. I mean, we're social creatures, so we're always trying to define other people by their behavior. Mm. And then we make, well, that's their personality. And someone's behavior isn't necessarily their personality because we've all had that yelling or, or unhappy conversation with a customer service representative or getting a rude customer service person talking to us. Uh, we've always had that. Or someone cutting us in line and we're like, ah, or road rage a little bit. You know, we've all had a little bit of that. Well, you're saying, not me. But you know what I'm saying? Like we, it, But if someone took that snapshot of us and that one little sliver of time and said, that's who that person is. Can yeah. you imagine you had a bad day, you know, and, and just, you know, just lost your job and you're going into Starbucks and you didn't realize the line was there and someone yells at you and you yell back and then they think, what are that, that angry woman, you know, she's, she's full of anger, you know, that angry personality. And, and then just from that five minute interaction. So that's a lot of times what we do. And then with this work, uh, when we work with the shadow, you're actually looking at your own projection of what you're pushing away. You see it in other people, personality traits that you don't accept about yourself. And, um, and then when you start doing shadow work, you really start to cultivate more compassion and really notice, oh, and then you're softening your own self-judgment you know, of yourself. And when you have a bad day mm-hmm. and when you act out, you're not defined by, oh, I'm a bad person now because I did this or that. 
And uh, a lot of us, we're going to talk about that in a future episode of how being a bad person uh, is is not always a good a good person is not always a bad a bad thing. Uh, how we can be a bad thing um, because it really that personality is uh, not like we say the life sense. It's just a very fluid uh, part of our floaty uh, surface self. Floaty yeah. surface self. You like that. <laughs> Yeah, so the bottom line is we want to definitely encourage people to take the reins of their own mental wellness by learning as much as they can about the mind. Uh, that includes taking tests if they, if they wish to. Um, but to be aware of what these things are telling you and how they, what's, what is the proper use of these things.